Glide Apps Tutorial for Beginners How to Use Glide Apps Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Glide Apps. Glide Apps can help you in building your own application for project management, field sales, inspections, work orders, inventory, CRM, dashboards, portals, and much much more. And the best part about using Glide is that you don't have to work in code. You can just easily build your own personal work software with a couple of their templates. And you can access them anywhere whenever you're working with your team. So let's get started. To get started on Glide Apps, simply head on over to glideapps.com and then click on Open Glide. Once you click on Open Glide, you can sign up on the Glide Apps application. It's a really simple sign up process. You don't have to put in your card info or anything. You can create your free account on the Glide Apps platform by signing up with your email address, and that is all you have to do. Now, I have signed up over here, and we're going to get started by building our first application. So we're going to first delete one of our old applications to start building our new one. And we're just going to click on new app over here. And once you click on new app, you can get started with building your new app. Additionally, another thing to note is that with Glide apps, they even have a simple onboarding which can help you in setting up data and building data for your app. I'm just going to refresh our page over here so we can get started with building our new application. So you guys can see that we even have folders on the left, which can help us in organizing different applications into different sections. And for some reason, the count is being a bit slow so i'm just going to proceed with a new one and i'm just going to sign up with glide apps once more so we can get started with building now over here they're going to ask you a, a couple of questions on what type of app you're looking to build so it just depends on um you know this type of app you're looking to build if you want it to be a full screen application if you want it to be a small application for mobile devices but i'm going to first create a new team that has two to ten employees i'm going to skip the invite but you guys can see now we have a uh, team and with the team you guys will see you even have a beginner's tutorial so you can open up this tutorial app setup to set up your own application and to familiarize yourself with their layouts now this is the mobile app builder and on the left you have a navigation and then we have the components that are listed on the right you will see visibility options and general options then on the top you have your data so how your data is structured and then you have your layout and then you have actions now i'm going to go into the layout over here we have a welcome then we have collection styles, then we have um, detail screens. Now, I want to customize this a bit, so we're going to go on ahead, go back into data. And you guys can see there are three data tables. We have parts, then we have lessons, then we have team members. Now, this particular application is created by the Glide Apps tool, but we're just going to delete this and we're going to build our own simple inventory manager with glide apps for some reason it's it's having some issues in opening up the app builder so i'm just gonna re-log in to glide apps which is very unusual usually it never has any type of issues but we're just gonna sign in and once we have signed in on glide we can build our first application now I want to build a mobile app and this is going to be my inventory manager and then I'll click on continue. After that, you're going to select a data source for your application. So for us, I want to build my data sources within Glide as well. So I'm going to be using Glide and then you're just going to click on create application. Once you do that, 
uh, you're going to head on over to the next step, which is building your first application. In this, you will see uh, it's a pretty standard layout. On the left, you have a navigation and you have components. We can delete those. And then we have our data. So for me, I am going to rename this firstly because these items are not, you know, necessarily applicable for my particular data. So I'm going to delete some of these uh, data sources. And once I've deleted these data sources, I'm going to go into layout and we're going to delete all of the items for a clean look. And once we've done that, we're going to add and we are going to add a sample screen or just a screen from data. First, I'm going to add my data and this is going to be a blank table and I'm going to rename this into products Then I can add another row and columns. Let's say I want to add the SKUs, which are basic numbers. And then I want to add the inventory like this. And then I want to maybe add incoming shipment like this. And then I can add the product name. So let's say it's a t-shirt. And then we can add the second item, which is a dress. Then I can add, you know, the SKU units, the inventory I have, and how many are incoming. And then if I go into layout, I can click on add screen from data. And now we have a tab which reflects the number of products we have with the data. Now on the right, you will choose the style you want to display this data in. If you want it in a card form, in a list form, in a table form, data grid, Kanban, checklist, calendar, or other. I want this in a card form but I want the name and inventory to be displayed. And after that, we have an image. We can also upload images. So it makes our application more visually interesting. And below that, you also have the actions where you can allow user permissions. And then you can add visibility conditions as well. And just like that, you can proceed with building your Glide application. Now, the best part is that if you're just an individual trying to figure out Glide apps, then you can use it for free to build your first application with upwards of 10 personal users, two editors, and one free application. And if you are looking to upgrade, you can upgrade to the maker plan with unlimited personal users, two editors, and one application. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video